What's going on YouTube? Kamikaze Von Doom here with another Division 2 build video. Now shout out to the DoD Disciples of Doom. And today's build video is going to be my armor region god build. I am using the vector as my primary and I have over 2 million armor. Now max that up with some uh, crit and with some armor region and all of a sudden you have the perfect combination for an armor region god build but don't take my word for it let's go ahead and jump into some pvp gameplay so go ahead sit back relax and enjoy the pvp i'll be right back I drop you your way. Supply drop was just picked up by a friendly. An agent needs assistance. Rogue striker drone detected. One for the friendlies. The enemy just pulled out. The enemy is claiming the supply drop. Detected. An agent needs assistance. Reinforcements are running low. Boost about to activate. Boost now active. are acquiring the boost. Allies have acquired the boost. Agent down.
detected. Alright, I didn't want to give you too much PvP gameplay. I do understand a lot of you are PvE players. And you can use this in both PvE and PvP. But I did want to show you that this is viable in PvP. So let's uh, go ahead and do the build breakdown. And then after the build breakdown, maybe I'll do like some solo dark zone. I'll go take over a couple landmarks, things like that. Show you how this actually goes in the dark zone, PvE, and all that jazz. But all right, build breakdown time. Let's do it. So this is my armor region god build. Now I have spec as much as I can into armor and as much as I can into armor region. So I do have 2 million armor and currently I am just above 85,000 armor region. Now there's not many ways to get above that I think the only way to get higher were to actually have armor region on the Emperor's Guard itself with the 1% armor region, but those are so hard to find, I don't know. Uh, sidebar, let me know in the comment section below if you have a pair of these knee pads with armor region on it. That's insane. I want to congratulate you because <laughs> that's like a unicorn piece. But you can see that all my gear is basically maxed out. Um, this is, uh, like I said, an armor region god build, and I didn't want to give you something that was, you know, half-assed, half you know what I mean? I don't want to give you something half-made. This is fully procced, god-rolled armor region. You're not going to get higher without using, you know, say, the memento bag. And you're not going to get higher unless you have all the stacks. So this, in my opinion is the highest armor region you can make while keeping your damage and armor up at the same time. Reason being, and clear point, as you can see right here on my vector, I'm at 54 and a half, just about 55% crit chance, and 129 crit damage. That's with the 85.1k armor region and 2 million armor. So this is a tank build that you'll be able to face tank people and survive, whether it be PvE or PvP. Now, recently I was on an episode of uh, Diplomats of the Division with my buddy Sergeant Greybeard. I'll leave a link to that video in the description below. That way you can check it out because he did start a brand new video series that highlights people from all different parts of the community whether they be content creators, streamers, developers, directors, cosplayers, Ubisoft star players, what have you. Um, he's really doing good things for the community. So again, in the description below, Sergeant Greybeard's new video series called Diplomats of the Division. Check it out. But all right, back to this build. So starting off at the top, I am using the Demolitionist Specialization. Main reason is I wanted to get the extra crit chance on my laser pointer. That's what's getting me up almost to that 55% crit chance. Uh, another thing is the grenade launcher is a lot of fun in PvE. And if I do happen to lose all of my armor while face tanking either an enemy or a player, uh, there is a talent within the demolitionist specialization where upon depletion of armor, it'll automatically reload your weapon. So that does definitely help out. So say I'm face tanking and all of a sudden I lose my armor, I get all my ammo back and I can just continue face tanking. But all right, so that's why I'm using the Demolitionist Specialization. Now for the weapons. First up, we have the Vector 45 ACP. Now this one, 55.6k total damage, that's with max SMG damage, max damage to targets out of cover, and 15.5 crit chance. So you can get this build up to max crit chance just by optimizing this weapon. 
So you can get that 60% crit chance just by doing that alone. This one comes with Optimist. Uh, I wasn't able to get measured or anything like that on here. However, Optimist, in my opinion, is a lot of fun because this weapon has 1200 RPMs. So you're able to get through that magazine really quick. Now this talent, Optimist, for every 10% ammo missing from the magazine, I get 3% weapon damage. And you're getting through that magazine really quick. It's only a 45 round mag and at 1200 RPMs, <laughs> it's pretty quick. Now for the mods for my vector, I'm using crit chance for the optic. Uh, like I said, the demo laser pointer for the underbarrel. And then the Osprey suppressor for the muzzle. Now, of course, I have the oversized 45 mag. That way it bumps up my mag size to the 45 rounds. Now for my secondary, I am using the Eagle Bearer. I know a lot of you still don't have it, but remember, the Dark Hours has been out for well over a year and a half now. Um, it's a matter of just finding that right group. I understand it is hard. So what I would like to do is again in my description below, there's gonna be a link to my Discord channel. Now my Discord channel has multiple tabs to LFG for any activities, whether it be raid, hunter mass, the summit, dark zone, what have you, you can find LFG groups within my Discord server. Now this is for all platforms. So if you're on PC, PlayStation, Xbox, Stadia, it doesn't matter. Just hit up my Discord, you know, tell the people you want to do a Dark Hours raid, and there you go. I guarantee that at least four to five of those people are already going to have the Eagle Bearer. So that's going to give you four or five chances, you know, to get someone to drop it for you. So I highly recommend it. Check out LFG groups. You can even LFG on Xbox or find other Discord servers. There are plenty of people out here in the community that can do raid carries. All you have to do is get your word out there and people will help. So anyways, back to the build. My secondary, I'm using the Eagle Bearer. Reason being is it is for long distance shooting. The more you fire it, the more accurate it gets. And in my opinion, it's still best in slot for assault rifles. Now this one for this build, I'm at 72.4K total damage. And that's with max AR damage, max headshot damage, and 19.5 health damage. Now, like I said, it does increase accuracy while you're firing, and that's because of the Eagle's Strike talent. So accuracy increases while you continuously fire up to 30%. Now, headshot kills will grant you tenacity. Now, tenacity is quite amazing. 40 to 80% of your damage taken is delayed until the buff expires. So all of the total delayed damage is reduced for each enemy you kill while the buff is active. So if I can get Tenacity to proc and then kill three other enemies while it is still procced, I will take up to you know 80% less damage throughout that whole thing and then never you know take damage afterwards. Pretty cool. I love this weapon. All right, for the sidearm, double barrel sawed off with in sync. This one is pretty cool. It's at 868.8k total damage with max shotgun damage, 7% damage to armor, and 8% damage to targets out of cover. So, in case of, you know, a sticky situation, pop this baby out, pop, pop, and they're dead. Those are your weapons. Now, let's get into the build itself. So starting off with the mask, Giligard mask. Now the Giligard brand set bonus I get from this build, 5% total armor. Now for all the attributes, this is God rolled. So I have max armor, max crit damage, and max armor regen. For the mod, I chose crit chance, and that helps me get up to that 55% crit chance. Going to the backpack. This is my Golang Gear backpack. Now the Golan Gear brand set bonuses I get from this build, I get 10% status effects, 1% armor region, and 5% total armor. Now this helps me get up to the 2 million armor mark, and it gives me all that armor region and crit. For example, checking out these attributes, this one is God Rolled. 
I have max armor, max armor regen, and max crit damage. And again for the mod, max crit damage. Now for the talent, I am using Adrenaline Rush. That's right. So whenever I am within 10 meters of an enemy, I will gain bonus armor. This can stack up to three times. Now the amount of bonus armor is different between PvP and PvE. So in PvE, I can get up to 60% bonus armor total. So 60% on top, that's going to bump me over 3 million armor just from my Adrenaline Rush. Now in PvP, let me switch to that for you. Now for PvP, that is cut in half. So whenever I'm within 10 meters of an enemy, I only gain 10% bonus armor. And that stacks up to three times, so that's only 30% bonus armor total. So in PvP, I can get around, you know, 2.6, 2.7 million armor. But in PvE, I get well over 3 million armor. Now, Adrenaline Rush goes well with Intimidate. What's even better is I am running Perfect Intimidate. Now you can see it is 40% amplified damage from that talent in PvP. If I switch back to PvE, it's the exact same. So that's pretty cool. Now this chess piece, it is called the Hunter Killer. It is the named Golden Gear chess piece with perfect intimidate. So you get more amplified damage running this chess piece than you would a normal intimidate chess piece. Now we've already gone over the brand set bonuses, so let's talk about the attributes. This one, God rolled as well. So max armor, max crit damage, and max armor regen. For the mod, I chose max crit, and that helps me get up to that 55% crit chance, or whatever I'm at. And then go to the gloves. Again, Golden Gear gloves. This is the third piece that I am wearing. And again, God rolled max armor, max crit damage, and max armor regen. This is why I'm calling this the Armor Regen God build, because everything is maxed out. You cannot get better than this. And if so, it's because you are using different gear and you're manipulating it. Now going down to the holster, Bellstone Armory Holster. Now the Bellstone Armory brand set bonus I get from this build, 1% Armor Regen. Now as far as the attributes, again, it is God rolled, so Max Armor, max armor region and max crit damage and then finally the you know the the number one piece of the whole build it revolves around the emperor's guard knee pads now the emperor's guard knee pads are the named murakami industries knee pad uh, that come with the one percent armor region as a attribute now, as far as the brand set bonus I get from the Murakami, it's skill duration. I'm not really using that. I am solely using this for that 1% armor region under the attributes. Now, these knee pads, again, God rolled. So you have max armor, the 1% armor region, and then max crit damage. So everything on here has crit damage and armor region maxed out and everything has max armor as well. So let's finish off with the stats. So for the stats, this is for my vector. 56.6K weapon damage with 18.8K PVP weapon damage, 54.5 crit chance, 129 crit damage, and 70% headshot damage. I do have damage to armor on the weapon. Now, as far as the offensive tab, 10% all weapon damage bonus with 30% SMG damage bonus. So every time I use the vector, I have 40% damage bonus total. Now, gear talents, remember, Adrenaline Rush with Perfect Intimidate, basically the meta of all metas. Go down to the defensive tab. Like I said, I have over 2 million armor with 8.5.1k armor regen, 331k health with some explosive resistance and hazard but that is all due to my watch level which brings me to the biggest part the disclaimer now remember for this build i am watch level 1528 reason why i'm bringing this up is that all of these boxes are maxed out if you do not have all of these boxes maxed out you will not have the same you know stats 
or attributes that I do. So make sure you are over watch level 1000 and if so you can get the exact same numbers on your build as me just copy and paste however if you are not over shade level 1000 your attributes or your stats might be a little bit lower than mine so just keep that in mind when you're putting this build together but there you have it now the the skills you can make the skills whatever you want it depends on if you're playing pve pvp what have you um, this is what I use for PvP, and if I were to go do PvE, I'd probably put on a Revive Hive to help out the other people and stuff like that. But this is it. This is my Armor Regen God build. I already showed you PvP gameplay and conflict, so why not do some solo uh, Dark Zone? Let's see. So we've got Ongoing Directive. What's that? Rifles and Hanayu. Ew. Ew. All right, well, which one's invaded? Um, all right, so it's DZ West. All right, DZ West it is. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do some landmarks. Maybe I'll run into some players, something like that. But I'll just finish off this video with this gameplay and then we'll, you know, have a good weekend. I hope everyone has enjoyed this video. Uh, not only did I give you a little Access. intro, I gave you some PVP gameplay, a build breakdown, and now we're going to do some solo Dark Zone gameplay. So I do hope you enjoy it. Don't forget to support the channel by hitting that thumbs up, subscribe for more content, and yeah, let's, uh, let's go have some fun. Alright, so I'm going to go take care of this heroic landmark over here. And we will just go from there and see how things are going. But I do want to show how this works uh, in a PvE setting. Now, I know I'm not doing Lincoln Memorial. I mean, I probably could, but I figured why not do a little bit of solo Dark Zone? Because this is a really, really tanky armor region build. So I'm not really you know, worried about dying. Oh! You can see you can still one mag elite. As far as the dogs, that's a different story. Oh. Alright, almost done with this wave. I can open up this chest. There we go. But you can see that this heroic's going down fairly quick. And I'm by myself and I'm using a vector with two million armor. I'm still one clipping elites, which is uh, pretty cool if I do want to say so myself. Right. Oh, nearly one clip the uh, Wally. That was pretty good. I'm actually surprising myself with the amount of damage I'm doing in here against these NPCs. I would have figured it'd be like a two clip for these elites, but it's really not. As long as I make all my shots, it's all better, right? Alright, this heroic's about to be down. I think I saw some rogues on the uh, the kill feed. So maybe we'll just you know say F it and go try that out. Um, we'll see. Oh, here's the boss. Alright, boss is down. I wonder why it felt like someone else was shooting the boss there. They're making it too easy for me right now. Just use the stairs to my advantage. Yeah, go back up the stairs, bro. Thank you. And the dog, and that's all we have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's one clip into the dog. Two clips. Alright, so it takes two clips to the elite dog, and then one clip to take care of the elite enemy. So it's not bad. Not bad at all. Let's see if we can uh, do another one. Alright, so there's people over there at that heroic. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do this challenging, go see uh, what they're doing, and then uh, probably end the video there. Maybe we can get some cool rogue action at the but for all of you PvE players out there, um, this is to show you that this build is very, very viable 
in the dark zone, even solo. You can do this solo. If people mess with you, that's fine. Go back to the checkpoint. You know, you can transfer to a different lobby. But at least you know with this build, you can do what you want to do solo. Now, this is going to be a little interesting. I don't have a pulse, and it's uh, very, <laughs> very dusty out here. Let's see how this works. Probably gonna get my ish pushed in, but let's see. Oh no, I opened that right in front of the wall. Here. That was not smart of me. Okay, Wally is a two hit, that's fine. Oh, another Wally. Dang. There we go. Oh, one more. Incoming hostiles detected. Right. And that'll blow up. Boom. Alright. Not bad. And then uh, it looks like the rogues are 0.2 away. Check them out. Might be more than one, but we'll still have fun. Why not? Ooh, NPC language. Now another thing, if you're running Dark Zone, what you could do is you're running Gunner. If you run the gunner specialization, you get to you know, get your armor, or not your armor, your ammo to come back a little bit. So you can see that my ammo is uh, running out fairly quick. Let's go ahead and try to get rid of some of these real quick. There we go. That way I can uh, get some of those. Okay, come on. Come on. This is even with you know, multiple NPCs shooting me at once. And the boss. You can just see how tanky this build is. It's really good. I'm actually really impressed with this build. It did take a long time to optimize everything exactly how I wanted it, but as you can see, the result is amazing become this armor region god. I mean, I have not used a med kit this entire time. We just took out two landmarks. Not bad. Alright, so there are some rogues here somewhere, right? So let's see. They took out that thing right there, so let's, uh, let's hit up this extraction. We'll see if anyone uh, comes biting. Uh, I do not arm. We shall see. But all right, so let me know in the comment section below how you run armor region. Um, this is one of my favorite attributes in the game, so I am constantly trying to figure out different ways to incorporate armor region into my builds. That way I can just increase my you know, survivability and then the damage just comes right there with it. Um, having Hold on, where are they at? They're this way? Where is he? With it being so dusty, I can't see anybody. Let's see if I can see a rogue pop up on here. If he's right there in front of me, I'll, uh, I'll go say hi. Yep, he is. Okay. Let's go say hi. Oh, never mind. They just killed him. Alright, GG. Who was that that died? Stacks on deck. Sorry, buddy. I was going to come say hi, but you just died. You died, mother... <laughs> Alright, let's see if uh, I can catch anyone here, and then we'll probably end the, end the video. I mean, I don't want to make it like an hour-long build video, so... We'll see how it goes. Who knows? Maybe they'll all come this way, and uh, we can have some fun. Oops, stacks on deck. Already uh, pop rogue again. Let's see what happens. I'm excited. Either way, I'm excited. Maybe I'll use some EB. Let's do some. Jeez. 
show you what it's like with the old eagle bearer. Yeah, get in cover. Tell you what though, the eagle bearer with perfect intimidate to proc is stupid. If you ran up on people just using this, it's stupid. See this? Stupid, man. Alright, let's see what's going on here. Get some more ammo for my old assault rifle. Don't see anybody. Extraction Hilo. Almost within range. It's almost here. Stacks on deck has gone rogue again. And everyone is quivering in their boots. Uh oh, he just killed uh who's that? Q tips. Oh man, get it. Ready for pickup. I mean if they're not gonna come over here, I'll extract and go over there. In, uh, in the video there. That'd be pretty cool. I'm gonna do that. Hey, look at this. Look at this, dude. Look at him. And he's using the Eagle Bear? I don't know, man. You're using the Eagle Bear with a hive? Here, let, let's just act like we're stupid. Let, let's just do that, all right? He's gonna pop rogue, see? Ooh, all right, then don't. Yeah, pop rogue now. Go for it. Thank you. What's this dude doing? Where are you going, bro? Don't you know of an eagle bear? I mean, he missed the extraction. <laughs> he just wants me to go to his hive. Here, man. How about I do this? And then I come to you. What are you using? Yeah, bro, your hive's not gonna help you. I'm sorry. That was a perfect way to end the build video, though. Thank you for that. I appreciate you. But all right, Kamikaze Von Doom. I didn't have to go look for the rogues. The rogues came to me, and that is your armor regen god build. Two million armor, perfect intimidate with the good old vector.